audience is asking the View crew their cosmetic questions. Please welcome our makeup team, Lori Klein, Karen Dupiche, and Rebecca. We adore them we, we, and, and need them so, so much. They're women. like miracle workers. Okay, our first audience question um, was for Barbara. Barbara's makeup artist, Lori Klein. Check this out. I've always been told I should use bronzer with my blush, but how much so you don't look like a clown? And also, where exactly should you put it on your face to make certain angles a little more pronounced? It's my eyelashes. They're so thin. I don't know what to do about them. Please help me. Tell me what I can do to make them look thicker. <laughs> okay, so obviously, Lori, two questions there bronzer application, what's your strategy? Well, the key for bronzer is subtlety, especially if your body isn't tan. So you right. want to start with your own foundation. And then I like to use a matte bronzer. I brush it across the cheeks, the nose, the forehead, and don't forget the neck because you really don't want to have that demarcation that you can get. Okay. And then a little bit of a bright pink blush on the cheeks right by the apples so it looks like you're kissed by the sun and this gives you a very natural kind what of look. Kissed by the sun me. Like that. Like that. So that's the after. Okay. Quick question about that. Why the matte? Because a lot of them come with a sparkle on it. You can use sparkle after the matte. That's okay. my that's my sure. tip. Um, a lot of people like a lot of sparkle, but it's very it's much more natural looking. Okay, and lashes. Your lashes are so uh, yummy. I can't even There are so many great options out there now, not only to lengthen, mm -hmm. but will thicken and make your eyelashes fuller, actually grow your eyelashes. There's a new product out that I'm so excited about, and it really works. They are lash enhancers. You may have heard about Latisse. This sure. is a prescription brand. Uh -huh. But there's also one that I've been using called Revitalash, mm -hmm. which is, uh, was actually formulated by an ophthalmologist for his wife who had cancer. And um, that you can get over the counter. It's a prescription alternative. And then there's brands like Rapid Lash that you can get in the drugstore that all do the same thing really grow your so lashes. So they really actually grow they the do. lashes? Yeah, I'm they do. Try. I've been trying, you, a, I've been you, trying one of them. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Every day to see really if they're growing. Is, I think one of the most amazing technologies out there. You apply it at night okay. on clean, dry eyes, and you apply it just as you would a, uh, an eyeliner very close to the eyelashes. Now, of course, it's not for everyone. You have to check with your doctor. Some people can't use it. So I also wanted to talk about mascara. My tip for mascara is that I always use at least two different types of mascara. I layer them. I start with a very natural mascara that just makes your eyes kind of fluffy and a little bit thicker. And then choose a formula, whether it's thickening, lengthening, um, dramatizing, and this way you can really, really build on your eyelashes. You mm -hmm. can do okay. a lot with mascara. Okay. And uh, there's a giveaway also that you have for yes, our Yes, Revital Lash and Rapid Lash is letting you all take that home today. Yeah. So by the holidays, we'll be lashed out. We all have uh, lashes. I love that idea. Our next questions are for the fabulous and fierce Karen Dupiche, who takes care of both Sherry Karen and does, me. Both. That's right. This is yes. a product. Take a look. I'd like to know, how do you get rid of the black under your eyes? How do you hide these lines that make me look like I'm a marionette or a puppet? I don't like that. <laughs> okay, so Karen, talk to us. You, you deal with my dark circles every day. What's, yeah. what's your you technique? Concealer. You want to go to shade lighter than your natural color. Okay. And you want to apply it with a foundation or concealer brush. You want to apply it underneath the eye and then the problem areas, blemishes, and so. And you also want to use a foundation. A great foundation that works well is a Giorgio Armani foundation. That's good. You want to blend in so that you have more of an even tone. And then you want to dust it off with the powder. Then it gives you more of a natural look and it sets the... Um, so concealer, the concealer. first... Foundation next, yes. then seal it with the, the powder. Conceal it. You want to go a shade lighter. Shade lighter. That's take care of the okay. mine. Yeah. Yeah. Bags under she, my she, eyes. she takes care exactly. of us because we come in here looking horrid. Yeah, I'm a man before I come here. <laughs> 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 no, what, what about laugh lines? I have a lot of them because they keep me laughing here. Laugh line. There's a lot of skin products that's out there. There's one that's called Sin Skin Medica. Okay. That's really, really good. And there's a uh, concealer corrective pencil, which is by Cindy Watson, and that's good. That also corrects the area. You can also use concealer. You can go very thick, and you can just add in the sunken areas. And then you put your concealer on, you put your foundation on, okay. your powder to set. You dap your, you want to dap the foundation on the sunken area so that, you know, it'll stay on. You don't want to, be careful because you don't want to wipe it off. Okay. Right, okay. So because also, do you go lighter too? Off. Do you go a shade yeah. lighter? You definitely want to go a shade lighter. Okay, thanks, Karen. Just to enhance that okay. area. Thank you. Okay, our last group of audience questions is for Rebecca, who does Joy and Whoopi. Check it out. I have a 13-year-old daughter. When is it appropriate? 
read, let her start wearing makeup, and how much should she be wearing? My 13-year-old wears makeup, and what should she be using to clean her skin every day? Okay, Rebecca, let's talk teens. How much is appropriate? What works for a 13-year-old girl? Okay, 13, they should do a little bit of makeup. And by that, I mean I would start them off with like a tinted moisturizer because that's really 90% moisturizer and like 10% color. Mm -hmm. And then it'll even out their skin a little bit and it won't be heavy like a regular foundation or a regular powder. Then I would just do a little bit of lip gloss. They can do a clear mascara at 13 if they want. Like there's a line called a Rosy Pink Cosmetics that has a clear mascara with like a little bit of frost in it or sparkle, which makes it more fun for someone that age. I wouldn't start them in mascaras of color until they're like you know closer to 16 17 then they can maybe branch out to navies yeah, or to like purples yeah. Yeah. now yeah. Fresh. a little bit that's just, yeah just like a moisturizer clear mascara a touch of lip gloss that's it keep them young at 13 them something yeah fun. now what about taking care of their skin because uh, you know they go through all the hormone changes taking yeah. off the makeup etc I would recommend doing a natural or organic line there's some great ones out there nowadays like organic wear which is invented by uh, doctors and there's also another line called Tessa skin care which was invented by teenagers and mothers and there's a really soft, not heavy chemicals on the face, just a basic cream moisturizer and a basic um, cleanser and moisturizer, and that's it. That's okay. all they need to remove well, their I makeup. I know a lot of girls don't take their makeup off before they go to bed, especially teenagers. Can you uh, tell us why they should take the makeup off? You have to take off your makeup every oh, single day. I don't do that. Day. I, I sleep with my mind. Mind. I I know, know, me. Okay, well, uh, I want to ask some rapid-fire questions. That was actually one of them. Um, Lori, do you... Sorry. Oh, we do have tape. Okay, hang on. Hey. Here we go. I wear makeup every day and sometimes I fall asleep with it. Is it harmful? Do I need to take it off every single night? Do women always need to wear lip liner or is it sometimes okay to just go without? I have so much makeup in my drawer. What are the five essential products that I should use? Okay, Whoa. straight from the audience, you heard it. So the answer is yes, take off oh, the makeup. Yes. Second oh, question yeah. to Karen, yes or no, do you have to wear a lip liner yes, all the time? Yes, you have to use a lip liner, really? otherwise it will bleed. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. That's we're, like we're in pants without a belt. Correct the shirt. Oh, it bleeds, it goes yeah. in between you. Yeah. And then here's okay, the so lipstick, too, lip yeah. liner. Yeah. Got it. Rebecca, five essential makeup items. Foundation, concealer, mascara, a lip color, and a blush. That's all you need. Okay. Good. Thank you. That's My it. goodness. Yeah. We love you so much. <laughs> this is our dream team. We will be right back.